Yeah. <clears throat> so all of you see my screen, right? Yeah. Okay. So all of you please Please mute guys, please take the mute. No, please mute. I'll make right. Okay, <clears throat> so all of you guys, so um, first of all, today, so I'm going to share that my complete experience in the IoT products. So we are doing the, you're using IoT in my current uh, big data products. And we are using IoT with big data, IoT with the different applications, we are doing that. So I am working with the IoT almost more than two years, almost going to be two and a half years. So I will share that my complete experience where how we work in my projects, right? Where I will share my industry experience, right? Real time subject, explain you, right? So first of all, <clears throat> see that now big data IoT almost. Uh, Right, since five to six years onwards, right, it is a very popular words in the industry wise, technology wise. So obviously people rise in the question IOT, right? First, what is IOT? And immediately they will question that why IOT? What are the uses of IOT? So how IOT useful for real time industry? Right, this type of questions will rise there. So what is IOST project architecture, why, and um, got it now, and uh, what are the different uses of IOT? So why IOT is a too much market in the future, now already market started. So definitely you're going to raise the question, what is a IOT, and why IOT, industry uses of IOT, and why IOT with the cloud, right? These are the questions we are raising there. So first of all, my point I'm telling that, so according to my experience, right, I didn't read any definition from anywhere else, just my experience, I'm telling the point, the IOT means, obviously the standard name, standard form of IOT, Internet of Things. So Internet of Things, Internet of Things. You've seen that in the full name only complete subject is there. Internet and Things. And Things with Internet. Right, then only is the IoT. So thing is what, definitely you're going to question that, what is the thing and why internet for this things? So here mainly IoT defines, right, it is a connection of network, right, with things. So the things means it belongs to any domain, things of maybe retail, the things of banking, things of insurance, Things of finance, things of e-commerce, right? Things of CRM, things of healthcare, things of agriculture, things of industry, things of logistics. So any domain, the thing need to be smart. The what is a thing you are using for your usage, for your purpose, that is for need for your home, that is need for your business, that is need for your whatever services you want it. So to make a smart anything, so definitely we need IoT. That thing may be anything. The thing may be anything that is a hardware or right anything. We can make a smart with IoT. So smart means immediately the people thinking that it is automation. But I'm telling you, IoT is not automation. People thinking that when I'm entering to any shopping mall and door is opening automatically, that is IoT. That is IoT, no. Automation is not IoT, guys. 
right when automation right connected with the internet the thing which is connected with the internet that means the thing which is connected with the cloud is called obviously iot that thing is obviously is a smart so here internet of things is a right purpose right to communicate with the internet to the clouds and different network objects and it behave like smart right internet of things we need a cloud we need a hardware we need a software so simply i can tell you very short form iot equals to, is equal to hardware plus software so definitely you need to raise the question what is the hardware in iot what is the software in iot actually most of the work in iot is with the software compared with the software uses in iot hardware uses is very less right so the point of what i'm telling that to make anything to smart we need a iot right so obviously what i'm telling the point is the network of objects right the objects is any the point i am telling the point here i am going to write the point here one by one you can clearly understand that right iot obviously right thing i want smart the technology see that now here according to the industry projects iot project technology we are calling that right things and we are calling the nodes right what thing you want to make a smart that thing we are calling to the you are calling as a node that is a technology of iot projects so what is a node here maybe ac maybe fan maybe light maybe right chain got a point maybe my car so these are the things i am for example i'm telling you yes when i want to make ac when i want to make a smart a by smart ac yes what i am calling yes this thing i can call the node and i can call this also node and i can call this also node right so when you want to make it thing smart according to the iot technology we are calling the node but here ac is a node how is uh, right so how can i say the ac is uh, my right node here ac may be lg ac come lg ac maybe samsung ac maybe panasonic ac whatever company doesn't matter but i want to make that ac to me smart right so obviously smart ac i am calling as a node smart fan i am calling as a node but how can i say that ac is a smart right so here how i am right the point here right if you want to make this thing to smart what are the points we want it so what are the things we need to add to this node to make a smart yes obviously right to make a smart right we need a hardware we need a software and with cloud so this is a main point to make a small for your product that belongs to any domain we need a right hardware software with a cloud then only i can make a any node that means i can make anything to make a smart but definitely in the terms of here to make a smart my lg ac i want hardware so what hardware i want it right obviously right i want right 
sensors that obviously I want it sensors protocols yes sensors we want protocols to make your thing to make a smart I am telling you we need a hardware software I am explaining you what hardware needed what are the common hardware what is the common hardware for that thing sensors and protocols this is a important right and sensors need for the thing but what type of sensors we need for the thing how can you decide that right maybe fan sensors different light sensor different maybe chair sensor different right <clears throat> so how can we decide that which sensors need for my product to make a smart so that is a point how you will decide that as a developer as a consultant as a iot architecture we can't decide that domain experts will decide that right the manufacturers of manufacturer comp of the ac people right who are the right right uh, developers of the people right samsung or uh, lgac whatever fan so the domain experts will decide what type of sensors we need to add to the thing and what type of protocols we need to add thing so that is the main hardware and one more hardware we need for that thing that is the gateways gateway this is one of the hardware we need it right so here to make it things right to make things to make a smart we need a hardware in the hardware we need a sensors protocols and gateway so here when i add this obviously when i am telling you here so i told you lg ac or lg fan right so i have right for lg fan to make a smart i am taking the right proper sensors i am taking the proper protocols right so definitely so this set is i am can i can say it is no this thing which has a hardware proper sensors proper protocol definitely so i can say this is a node clear of point right guys so hardware i am adding to the my thing sensors protocol because i want to make this lg fan right to make a smart that's the reason what type of sensor we'll discuss later what type of protocol we'll discuss later but very common hardware for the thing sensors protocol so where your thing right which is inbuilt with the sensors which is inbuilt with the protocols that is a node it can behave like a smart right now now obviously right so where this lg fan i'm calling as a node right which is going to sense the data from the environment and it send that right it transfer the data to the gateway so what definitely you are going to raise the question what is the gateway i can tell you maybe you are using wifi in your home or outside you are using wifi mean you seen the router right like a modem so gateway also like a router right so which is using to pre processing the data so here whatever lg fan sensing the data right and it transfer the data to the gateway remember guys so gateway is the one of the important layer of the right iot project architectures so this is using to pre processing the data got it now so here i taken the lg fan right so i added some sensors i had it some protocols the reason to make a smart so this lg pen i'm i'm calling as a node which is sending the data sensor data to the whatever lg fan sensing the data it's sending the data to the gateway right one point so here what is the gateway i'm telling you here gateway acting as a hardware as well as to act as a software also so 
Here, what type of gateways you can use, we'll discuss point later. So what I'm saying that there is a node is a transferring the sensor data to the gateway. Go to a point and this gateway send the data to the cloud. Where is your data stores are there, it will send the data to the cloud. Clear a point. Here LG fan has a protocol and sensor. LG fan sensing the data using protocols node sending the data to the gateway and gateway is using to pre-processing the data and it's sending the data to the cloud did you get my point guys so in this database write some query some processing running there and it give the it give the response to the <coughs> it give that response to the gateway and gateway response to the node Go to point, the reverse action. Did you understand my point, guys? Here, cloud database term doing process with the user action and that whatever action giving back to the gateway, gateway to the node. Did you understand my point, guys? Suppose you are you are the mobile user. So you have a control of your, your you have a control of right your fan of your right, your fan your ac your washing machine your microwave right your doors right your windows we have a you have a all the access with your smartphone did you understand my point so maybe in your home your fan sends the data and send the data to the gateway and gateway to cloud and you are getting the some display in your mobile and you give some action reply to the right right from your mobile to the gateway right gateway give the right response to node and node will behave that whatever you given the response as a user did you understand clear a point so here cloud database right which is that you can hear maybe user interface by developer i mean user can do operations with the ui right whatever is given the reply to in the ui it give back the reaction to the gateway and gateway to node did you understand so obviously account to your response as a user and node will behave that so this is we're calling that actuators right the reverse action because you given the response from the your mobile ui and your node will behave you behave it according to your action did you understand my point guys so to make a anything to make a smart right the thing need had a proper sensor this thing has a proper protocols which is a connecting to the gateway you can ask the question also node going to communicate with the gateway with the wireless or with the wire so most 99% is the most of the industry is preferring wireless so there is a protocols are there node to gateway gateway to cloud so gateway to cloud also we protocols only we don't want to use any wire connection need to understand no point so maybe this cloud is amazon cloud so it running somewhere else so we need using a protocols we are going to communicate with the data so whatever continuously the lg fan right sensing the data continuously data is uh, streaming to the gateway gateway to the cloud good a point your complete rules engine your logics defining this database good a point maybe your fan is over speed the logic in the database when sensor sensing when the fan sensor sensing the data it taking the over speed right so then data bit give the response it give the data to the gateway gateway to the database cloud right it will verify that yes it's over speed and it give the message to the user and user will do maybe he will stop the fan maybe right he will reduce the speed from the user interface and that action will back to the gateway gateway to the node and node will behave that account to the user reply 
you do understand so nodes be reverse action doing by node account to the user action that is called actuators do you understand my point guys so to play your thing is a smart right compulsory we need a proper hardware proper software proper protocols proper, proper communication channels proper sensors proper gateways we need these things to make anything to make a smart clear no point continuously any, anything any small thing it says data generating like streaming level continuously live data is continuously coming from the nodes right it continues to take the data it processing the data to the gateway and gateway continuously sending the data to the cloud database wherever cloud database there it is storing to the database clear my point guys so internet of things so this is a common very common architectures using by industries to make anything to smart guys so i can tell you very clearly so where your industry is using that right so no to the gateway so obviously machine to machine this is a very important right layer of the iot architecture <clears throat> machine to machine right second one right so machine to machine means the thing which is the node to the gateway machine is a node and gateway is a machine so machine to machine right next uh, machine to machine to server that is a cloud guys this is a second layer of the project any any iot project guys you are doing that any iot project to make a thing to make a smart for your products for your things so this is a common layer and tells you machine to machine machine to server and uh, server guys please mute server to server see that now guys this is a three common layers in iot project architecture machine to machine means not to gateway guys machine to server means gateway to cloud okay and server to server means right i mean the cloud to the user user guys so these are the important pieces of the iot please mute and the achievement please mute navin after the change of this so these are the very common layers of the iot architecture where data is coming from the your thing node to the gateway gateway is a machine and your machine to server that server is a cloud database and again the cloud database going to communicate to the user server so these three common layers of the iot architecture of any thing you want to make a smart clear on point so to make anything to smart compulsory right sensors connectivity process right people these are the very common points in industries iot things so <clears throat> you getting any questions guys are you following all of you best my age ravin any questions you are raising you can ask me what i mentioned till now <clears throat> yes so this is the iot flow guys the sensors actually the sensors actuator which are inbuilt in the node that means in the thing and connectivity process right node should be connected to the gateway and gateway to the right database cloud database for processing and it gives the reverse back action to the again to gateway gateway to the node to behave according to the user action you know point guys so here the point here most of the people going to raise the question right here how many things we can connect to the gateway 
right for one gateway so this is a very common question right maybe right you can connect to one to 20 things 20 things that means 20 nodes we can connect to the right one gateway did you understand and uh, you can ask the question here i mentioned you very clearly node to the gateway and gateway to the cloud but how many gateways can connect to the cloud right you can ask the question also this one right see that now amazon cloud is there aws amazon cloud using by so many clients in the world right so gateway right so your gateway how many gateways you can billions of gateways billions of gateways can connect to the cloud right suppose in my home one gateway right to communicate with the aws my in my company gateway is there it is communicated in the cloud my factory has a gateway it is communicated to the cloud got a point my street gateway is there one gateway is communicated to the cloud like this billions of gateways can connect to the cloud right there is no limit to connect to the cloud database cloud stores what are the cloud company providers nowadays very complex aws Amazon Web Services very common uses now in the industries, right? I mentioned in this architecture flow, your data transferring from gateway to the cloud. So your data storing into the cloud database continuously, whatever data generating from the node, it continuously moving to the gateway, gateway to the cloud database. So this is IoT platform. It it is IoT cloud platform. So which companies are providing IoT cloud cloud platform? I mentioned you already Amazon company, AWS IoT platform, right? Or IBM. Some companies using IBM Bluemix, right? This is also one of the cloud plants. And some companies using Cisco cloud platform. Some companies using Azure, Microsoft Azure cloud platform. So very, right? There's so many cloud platforms in the world, right? So, so billions of gateways connect to the cloud. But there's no limit. But one, for one gateway, right, how many things can I I told you maximum 20, 1 to 20. Suppose I want to make my home smart. I want to make my smart home, guys. Tell me, to make my home smart, what are the things I want to make it smart? Tell me, I want to make it, my home smart. Guys, I want to make my home smart. So tell me what are the things I can make a smart in my home or in your home? Very common things, tell me guys, anyone? In a home, what are the things we can make a smart guys? Smart bulb. Sorry? Smart bulb. Yeah, bulb, yes, I can make yeah. bulb spot, yes, fan, AC, right, microwave, yes, alarm, washing machine, right, alarm, yeah, oh. 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 yeah, please mute. Please mute. Right. See that now I want to make things to make a smart. Right. See that I selected some things in my home. See that now here my bulb is a node one. Right. My fan is a node two. My AC is a node three. My microwave is node four. My washing machine is a node five. My TV is a node six. So everything has a different bulb has a different sensors. Maybe fan has a different sensor. AC has a different sensor. Microwave has a different sensor. Washing machine has a different sensor. TV has a different sensor. And uh, 
doors my home doors different sensors got a point so these things i want to make a smart so i selected some items in my home to make a smart so these are the things i selected to make a smart right so what is the main important so here there is a totally seven things are there but for all these seven things i will take in my home one gateway right for all the things in my home i can take one gateway what it now gateway one gateway right so bulb node is sending the data to gateway fan sending the data to gateway ac sending the data to gateway microwave sending the data to gateway right wash emission sending the gateway data to gateway tv sending the data to gateway door sending the data to gateway so all these seven things continuously sending the data sensor data to the gateway maybe bulb sending bulb can send the sen temperature sen uh, temperature sensor data maybe fan can send the speed sensor data ac can send the humidity data maybe microwave can send the right here right heat heat sensor data maybe washing machine can send the speed sensor data maybe tv can say that power usage sensor data maybe doors maybe open or close sensor data can send the data to gateway so one gateway can take the sensor data sensor data from many things means it can take 1 to 20 things can support one gateway and you can ask the question also think to what is my gate where is my gateway in my home only right i want to make this thing three seven things to make a smart i take in one gateway only but where is the gateway in my home yes in my home only but how much distance between the my nodes and gateway this question you can raise the question node to the gateway <coughs> node to the gateway the distance is that right 0 to 200 feet guys 0 to 200 feet not be more than that but of point you want to make your home smart definitely we need a, some things to make it smart and i have taken one gateway what our data is coming from my nodes to the gateway so what is the distance between distance between my gateway and the node it is 0 to 200 feet not be more than that and whatever this sensor this thing sensing the data it's sending the data to this gateway and gateway can send the data to the cloud cloud and whatever data is coming the data storing into the cloud databases got it now and this cloud database sending the data to the right to users to user to the user to the user why user because who are giving the action finally to the user only so it's sending the data to the user so the point you need to raise here user is always giving that whatever thing is giving the data maybe any rules here database logic is here if any logic is meeting according to your requirement user will get the some alert messages maybe you can get the sms maybe you will get the emails maybe you'll get the some call maybe whatever you getting the alerts you will immediately give the reverse action to the database database to gateway gateway to node did you understand maybe user got the message alert message your ac using that right right high power and it, it is a uh, maybe it using the high, high temperature so definitely when the tech, that uh, that logic is meeting the database immediately give the alert message to the user and user maybe he can power of the ac from his mobile and immediately data cloud to gateway gateway to the ac and ac will automatically will be shut down got it now and user can off from anywhere anywhere in the world because you are direct communication with the cloud but you are communication not with the gateway directly 
cloud to gateway, gateway to did you understand my point? Clear my point, guys. So, so here, node to gateway you can maintain maximum 200 feet distance, 0 to 200 feet distance to sending the data to the gateway. Clear my point? Here, what is the gateway? Which is the hardware? Which is the software? Which is using to pre process the data? So, very common gateways nowadays. Right? <clears throat> gateways. Maybe you know some gateways which are very important. Without gateway, I can't make anything to make a smart. So gateway is a very common in any IoT project architectures. This is a very, very important layer. I told you previously the flow of IoT, right? So gateway, which is that Right, is acting as a machine. So where machine sending the data to the machine gateway and where gateway machine sending the data to the cloud and where cloud server sending the data to the user server. Got it, my point. So gateways are very important roles in IoT project architectures. Tell me very common right gateways in the world now. Most of the companies using that gateways which are using for pre-processing the data that is Arduino and IBM um, and uh, right Raspberry Pi and uh, right Galileo Intel Intel Galileo right so these are the very common gateways right industries preferring that but here yes, some are open source are there, some are enterprise are there. So most of the companies preferring open sources. When future is not available, the company is going to use enterprise editions. So these are the very common gateways which are using to pre-processing the data. Gateways always using for, like I told you right, it's like a router. It is always pre-processing data. Where is the sensor data coming from? Node to the gateway. So these gateways very important layer. We can have a gateway in your home. Obviously, one gateway should be in home because you want to make a things smart in your home. Suppose in my factory, in my factory, I want to make right my factory machines, my factory right office room, my factory right different uh, section, different 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 departments, things I want to make it smart. Maybe in my factory, I can use 10 gateways because the reason why I'm using 10 gateways in my factory, because so many things in, in my factory to make it smart. There is a hundred thousand things out there to make it smart. That's why I'm select, I'm taking the 10, 50 gateways in my factory only because my factory, right, almost a hundred across, maybe thousand across, factory so obviously i have many things to make smart in my factory definitely i need to buy mini gateways did you understand clear no point so here very important cost also very important constraint to make anything to make a smart did you understand my point cost is very important because especially node is highly constrained because node is a high constraint the thing which you want to make a smart that is very important. People asking that how many sensors I can I add to the for one thing? You can add many things, you can add many sensors, but right, not too many sensors. If you add too many sensors for one node, it will take highly cost. You need to think about cost also. Even if you add many sense, if you if you add too many sensors for one node, right, and gateway also it will take a right lot of time to processing the logic. It will don't take any complex complexity logics. I mean highly logics. I mean I mean too much processing, then it will be getting very slow processing and your things to behave very slowly smart. That is the reason I am telling you not too many protocols, not too many sensors according to the 
right your domain experience we will decide that how many sensors need for node how many protocols need for the node so only the level we need to think how many need it that's it not too many sensors not too many protocols do you understand so cost is very important i already mentioned you domain expert suppose for my banking industry we need a, some things to make a smart definitely as when we have a domaining banking domaining experience definitely you can decide what type of sensors you want it suppose you want some things in insurance to make a smart definitely admin right definitely insurance expert he can decide what type of sensors we can use for the insurance things like healthcare also like crm also like e-commerce e also right like sales industries also like any industries any uh, travel industry maybe logistics maybe any smart cities maybe any smart uh, right parking or anything right so obviously according to the domain you say domain experience the domain experts they will decides how many sensors how many protocols they will decide that and what type of sensors they will decide that good or point so that is very important to to make anything to make a smart so we need a lot of domain experience to decide for which sensor for which protocols that is very important point and one more point <clears throat> so i am telling you your gateway which are using the pre processing the data some people asking that compulsory people asking that no to gateway this is a mandatory the question asking that why not be node itself inbuilt with that i told you the node we are calling the reason the node has a sensors the node has a protocols wireless protocols that's why i'm calling node but why node has not inbuilt with the gateway can you tell me any example thing to make a spot to make a smart with inbuilt gateway anything anything you can tell me which thing i can make a smart with inbuilt gateway that is my question guys any example of thing i want to make a smart with inbuilt gateway i want to make one thing to make a smart with inbuilt gateway any tell me that any example of thing compulsory for the thing we need inbuilt gateway don't say fan and ac washing machines i want proper answer tell me any machine to make a smart mandatory with inbuilt gateway <clears throat> Tell me, guys. Yes, yes, Siddhartha, Parinba Jyoti, Navin, any answer? Any answer, guys? Did you understand my question, all of you? Anyone? Did you understand my question? Sorry, no idea. Okay, I can tell you my answer is right. Answer is right or not? I want to make my car smart here, yeah? right? If you want to make car, if you want my, um, if you want make my my car smart, if gateway is in home, no use. Because my car is traveling more than hundred thousand kilometers. I am traveling. If gateway is in home, no use, right? So if you want make my car, right to make it smart, if you want to make my car smart, definitely. So this car, this node, which should be inbuilt gateway. Do you understand? See that now. Yes, now coming future. What are the cars coming? What are the cars coming in future by from 2020 onwards? The Honda, Honda e, 
right uh, right uh, nissan right ford these all these companies they are going to decide to make a smart car also like door locks right uh, automatic start gears whatever tires uh, tire sensor and tires uh, speed of tire maybe any all right uh, puncture for the tire all these type of sensor they're going to build all that so obviously though they want to make smart car definitely they the car is a node i'm telling you it should be inbuilt sensor which is inbuilt gateway which inbuilt protocols then only the car will be smart you understand point so definitely car directly is going to communicate with what tell me guys cloud cloud database and mobile user did you understand clear on point i love you suppose you are traveling right maybe you're driving the car you got message your dicky was open maybe your tire is a uh, right maybe is trying to maybe tire is going to be breaking your tire is going to breaking so you will get the alerts to your mobile did you understand so so you are getting the data from where where tire sensor sensing the data of of the breaking of your tire and it sending the data to the to the cloud directly and cloud is a, your application user you are seeing the message and then immediately you'll stop the car and you'll check that where is the wrong of your tire did you understand so it, in the world some things which is inbuilt gateways some things which are 200 feet distance gateways available there right but very less things which inbuilt gateways guys that is costly different demand that is also cost depend guys depends on the cost also because if you make a car smart if you mention that inbuilt gateway inbuilt protocols inbuilt sensors in the car because people can invest that people can buy the smart car because it may be maybe it's three or maybe i guess maybe 300 dollars extra maybe 20000 rupees extra then right compared with the normal cars and the smart car smart cars maybe 300 dollars extra cost to make a smart so the people don't worry about the, they will not think about cost right they will immediately spend for that but when i want to make i want to make my fan to smart with inbuilt gateway it is very cost did you understand if you make a inbuilt gateway inbuilt no inbuilt protocol sensor in the fan and if you put that 10000 rupees your fan cost who will buy it tell me did you understand we can't buy that you can't buy the thing because they why they mention the cost 10000 rupees for the fan because which is a smart fan because which is inbuilt gateway which is inbuilt sensor which is inbuilt protocols did you understand but for car is a expensive and people do the uh, they will the i mean they don't care about that i guess the 200 they want to pay for that to me for the smart car did you understand so for inbuilt gateways for very really think that okay so gateways protocols sensor in one in single uh, for one thing it is a very cost cost very important conference for the thing you don't understand you know point so factory we need a gateways home we need a gateways in company we need a gateways in my farm in gate i need a gateways in suppose i want for my agriculture i want i want to take this smart agriculture yes we need a gateways in my city i want to take a smart parking yes we need a gateways got it now right at my garbage place we need a gateways i want to make my garbage uh, garbage place smart yes i want gateways got a point and traffic traffic conjunctions i want to make smart yes smart roads right smart roads industrial controls right so all for all things we need a gateways you know point guys so there is a gateway is very important layer in iot projects architecture where i clearly mentioned that there are three common layers in iot projects so where machine to machine machine is a node here your machine to machine is a gateway right and gateway is going to communicate with the cloud the server means your cloud good point and 
server to server the cloud server which is going to be communicating with the user server here user ui user ui Code of point user ui so these three very important points we need to get so what i'm saying that so these three when you implement these three layers right as a iot consultant as a iot developer as a iot architecture so we need to involve in these three things but very important layers in this as iot consultant you guys involving this two right and third layer most of the developers and application developers java developers dot net developers they are involving this layer but as a purely iot consultant the first layer is very important for you as a purely iot developer you are going to involve in the first layer i mean node to the gateway you need to prepare the node with the sensors and protocol and you need to give the connection to the gateway that is the core responsibility of iot consultant got a point and who is application developers they are in involving to server to the server right who are the programmers who are the java programmers they involve in the here but as iot consultant we can't write any programs we can't write any coding for this third layer they will involve to write the code to give the communication to the machine to machine they will be involving this layer got a point but as iot consultant you guys as iot developer we should the idea complete about remaining this two layer also because you are the one of the team members in the project so we should know the complete iot architecture claim a point and the point guys so so very common sensors actuators where sensor in the thing only actuators also in the thing only which are going to behave according to the user action you want to stop the ac from your mobile you stop the ac then thing will behave according to your action it will ac will off did you understand my point so here very important sensors communications very important what type of sensors what type of communication protocols you are using that is very important okay so this is very common flow of iot for any iot projects sensors activities connectivity connectivity means with the protocols right most of the protocols are wireless only nowadays everything is wireless so most of the companies preferring the iot protocols i mean wireless protocols they are using that so now coming to the protocols you can ask the question where i mention here previously here you are see that now in smart home bulb fan ac microwave washing machine tv all these nodes communicating to the gateway with wireless protocols See guys machine to machine very common protocols using by industries bluetooth low energy maybe you know that right it be right ble and wifi and maybe jet wave so very less cost very less power consumption with this protocols so using this protocols all these nodes which are going to communicate to the gateway remember people ask the question all these thing nodes using only uh, using this protocol no remember every node has a own protocols remember fan will not use the bulb say, bulb protocols ac will not use the fan protocols right everything as a own protocols 
everything has one sensor remember okay so using this protocols right these things going to send the data to the gateways gateway right you already have a in your you maybe you guys already using smartphones right every smartphone has a bluetooth right right every smart for smartphone nowadays has a bluetooth inbuilt did you understand so using this protocol the things going to send the data to gateway right come a distance mandate remember 0 to 200 feet if this protocols want to transfer the data to the gateways from the sensors so distance should be 0 to 200 feet not be more than that what a point maybe in your home one gateway you you you, you taken that and you want to take seven things to make a smart yes seven things sending the data to the single gateway yes but all seven things should be distance of 200 feet between the gateway and the <coughs> node what a point and here but gateway sending the data to the where I mentioned you very clearly gateway sending the data to the to the cloud got it now definitely you can raise the question right right now my notes using Bluetooth low energy using Zigbee people ask the question how many protocols each node can use right depends on the node depends on the uses depends on the requirement some things will use three protocols some things will use five protocols some things using ten protocols some things using one protocol did you understand if you use multiple protocols then this risk is very high depends on your requirement only demand depends on your demand of your requirement then only you can use don't use multiple protocols for the each node so here using this protocol sending the data to the gateway sensor data sending the data to the gateway clear a point i write then but gateway to data transfer into where cloud using what protocol very very important protocol nowadays mqtt very very is open source i think in the world 80 percent of the iot products they're using that very common protocol between the gateway to cloud mqtt and uh, some companies using yes this is very common we know that it's HTTP. some companies using Cope. so using these protocols gateway will send the data to the cloud do you understand you know point guys using this gate protocols gateway sending the data to the cloud the cloud is the database and cloud database sending to the user server and what protocols <coughs> HTTP it also or MQTT did you understand yes. user here user means what maybe using the mobile smartphone right mobile UI maybe tablet maybe iPad whatever did you understand so connectivity is very important previously in the slide i show you in the iot flow flow diagram connectivity between the connectivity to maybe node to the gateway gateway to the cloud cloud to the user connectivity is very important so the selection of protocols very very important by domain expert right as as a as developer right no point to sending the data to the gateway gateway to the cloud and you can see that now you can ask the question why not be bluetooth zigbee gateway to the cloud remember zigbee bluetooth low energy jetwave 
these are the very less distance only for you but long distance always i can recommend you this protocols mqtt http cope which are the best protocol for the long distance that's why this protocols we are calling that lora protocols lora protocols long range communication protocols right so gateway to cloud because gateway is in home in your home maybe my gateway in my factory but where is a cloud it is where amazon data center maybe microsoft azure maybe ibm bluebix it is where somewhere else with network need to communicate that do you understand guys your point so gateway to cloud the long distance we need a long range protocols <clears throat> that is mqtt http using that by industry experts right to send the data to the gateway to cloud and cloud to the user and the user will be the river action maybe you want of the fan you want of this some giving the action got it now cloud data database sending the message to the user like sms maybe alert sms maybe write email maybe some call some pushing message something whatever you will get it do you understand so connectivity is very important machine to machine we need a connectivity machine to server we need a connectivity server to server we need a connectivity so for this connectivity we will use the protocols protocols got a point using protocols using channels maybe you know channels 2g 3g 4g satellites gprs using all this all our channel channels right networks wider in man van pan isn't it wider in network pan and personal area network pan and metropolitan area network so different type of networks different types of channels different types of protocols we are using for the connectivity for communication to sending the data to the cloud got a point guys so now we are communicating to with internet with some protocol got a point all of you so the very important connectivity machine to machine definitely we need a connectivity yes we need a protocol machine to server we need a protocol may server to server in the protocols right sending response sending response send sender sending to the gateway gateway to the cloud cloud to the user and user give the reverse to the cloud cloud to the gateway gateway to the node these are the the calm continuously repeating loop for the any projects for anything to make a smart all of you get my point so to make anything to make a smart right we need it you know point guys so like this in the world we can make a thing smart cities like a smart roads smart parking lighting traffic congestion waste management structural health smart roads means where road damage there and uh, sensor sensing data it gives alert message to the driver phone and he will be slow down because he got the alert message because after 2 kilometers uh, some hole happened in the road and this sensor sensing data immediately send the data to the user driver who are using phone and immediately will take the some action maybe he'll be slow maybe he'll stop the car like this go to find smart roads smart parking you are trying to park in some central area and you are unable to find the parking and sensor sending the data to you to your mobile and you are going to say find you are going to see the where the parking place is there then you can find the parking you can place the you can do the parking also smart parking smart lighting saving power traffic congestion and vibrations of the bridges suppose some bridges has a sensors which are the gateways there good of point so bridges what is the bridges you know that now maybe you are traveling right some highway and there is a 4 km distance some bridge is there but the bridge is some vibration maybe trying to maybe bridge is going to be breaking so the vibration the bridge has a sensors the bridge is sensing the data of the vibrations and the bridge 
sends or sending the data to the gateway, gateway to the cloud, and user immediately will get the some alert message. And your four kilometer distance, your bridge is evaporating. Please uh, take U turn or please stop the car. This type of emails, this type of uh, alert message will send to the user immediately. You will take the action. Maybe you will stop the car. Maybe you will take slow, right, until you get the proper reply from the government offices, whatever. Do you understand? So, this type of thing, structural health, smart. This is already implemented in US and Australia. And India also vibration sensor for every bridge, but it gives alert message before three four kilometers. That logic already written in the database of the cloud. So smart cities, waste management, health, right, and uh, smart environment, pollution, right, fire detections, right, smart environment, air pollution, landslides, earthquakes. Smart water, this is very important nowadays. You know that in, our, in India, our Ganga water also, uh, Indian government is going to be make a smart. They are going to invest more than 3000 crore for that, for Ganga water clear, uh, clearance, right? Smart water, right? Portable water monitoring, chemical leakages in the rivers, right? Smart uh, swimming pools, measurements, right? Pollution levels in, right? And river floats. Right, water leakages, security also security. For security also we can make a smart, right? Radiation levels, home automation, door locks, light switches, damage dangers, right, motion cameras, right, comfort, retail industries, right? Smart agriculture, this is also very important use in the world now, right? Wine quality, right? And uh, greenhouses, right? Metrology station networks, right? Industrial controls. So all these are uh, very, very uses in the world, right? To make thing for any domains to make a smart. That is IoT now doing that. <clears throat> because of this, it saved the time, which saved the cost. It is a benefit for the people, right? For IoT. <clears throat> Yes, got my point, all of you. You understand, guys? Yes, any questions? Any questions, guys? <clears throat> yes, Navin. Any questions? You can raise the question. Ask me. Right. Any Jyoti? Any questions? Mm. Can you make? Yeah. Yes, obviously. For anything which is useful for humans to make it quick and smart, right? To make anything to make it to make anything right, to make a smart for anything, guys. But we need to we need a proper domain knowledge. If we don't have a proper domain knowledge, we can't select that right proper sensors. That is very important. What a point. Nowadays, so uh, Arduino, right, which is highly using in industry in the world now, Arduino gateway protocol very common. Zigbee, uh, uh, less distance Zigbee jet wave, long range, uh, I mean long distance MQTT HTTP, they are using. Okay, gateway Arduino, Raspberry Pi, Galileo, Intel Galileo, all these uh, gateways using in industry nowadays. What a point. Yes, Navin, got it? Okay, yes, any doubts you can you can ping me in WhatsApp. Always I will be available. Right? So right, I'm giving the corporate trainings. 
I'm giving the classroom training, online training for the IoT, hands-on with the hardware kits. I will give that. So if you're interested for that, you can contact me for anything. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Navin. Thank you, guys.